So, uh, don't uh, start your next match. <laughs> okay, go ahead, guys. You're you're good to go. They they just had to hit the F. You just I had to hit F5 on uh, the browser, or everybody else has to hit F5 because for whatever reason the stream went dead when I uh, tried to fix the audio. Oh no, I lost all my viewers. That's not good. So crash and putting that work in. Up one nothing right here. Shockwave trying to put in some work as well. Do a mix-up game. Sit down stun into a critical. Oh, this is gonna hurt. They're both neck and neck right here. However, Crash'em, you know, has those uh, fast hands. Yo, look at that. Shockwave saying, yo, I got these hands too, son. Come at, come at me. Yeah, I don't have any viewers. Thank you. <laughs> Let's give a shout out to some random people who are in the chat right now. Since you say I don't have any viewers. Uh, shout outs to Bruno Carnifex. Uh, C. Carl. O. Hazard. Excel. Excel. Yams, Noctengu, the Sinister Siren, Futo Infinity, Heavenly Kenochi, Destruction Bomb X, Tycoon. What's up, people? Thank you for stopping by and supporting. So here we go, match point right here for Crashem. Goes in with a nice little throw. Woo! Look at that, nice little uh, bounce. Gave him enough for a combo to, to carry him off to the wall. Too much pressure coming from uh, Crash'em. Boom, finishes it off with a nice little uh, neck break. And, uh... <laughs> All right, so let's just confirm. Canadian Boys is our boy, uh, Palatina, right? So I can just DQ him. Ah, uh, whatever. So we're gonna continue on and uh, just go here and show off the bracket. So I guess we'll just have to move uh, uh, Apollo up. So let's get our first uh, our first match of the second round up. Let's get Lord Xavier and Blood Phoenix going. Here we go. So as you all know, there's this just guy going by the name of Lord Xavier here. He's a, he's a total scrub. Doesn't really know what he's doing. He just likes to show up for tournaments to support the scene. And he's gonna. And he plays a Tomy. He he's apparently a uh, a big Tomy fan. Laura Croft God has to leave. So, uh, if you see her in the in the uh, match lineup, hit that circle button so we can uh, get rid of her. But anyway, we got Blood Phoenix starting off with a, a nice little combo playing Momo G. Lord Xavier is playing uh, Tomy. He's getting his ass juggled against the wall. Blood Phoenix trying to go in for a mix-up that. Lord, Lord Xavier just said no to. Here we go. Throw combo. Blood Phoenix does not break it. Oh. Baits him with a punish and he just gets, you know, hammered real good against the corner. Blood Phoenix just needs to learn how to get out of the corner. He's gonna, he, he's not gonna last long here. <laughs> Xavier's my number one fan. I'm his number one fan. What are you talking about? So we're each other's number one fan?
The Blood Phoenix right there, starting off with another little late juggle, sending him far away. Little turnaround right there. Does a combo for whatever reason, lets himself get punished. Doesn't there we go, nice little punish. Kicks him far, far away. Goes in with a jump with the jump kick, gets uh, punished. Nice hold right there. Ooh, he's got some good reads right there on the holds. There we go, Blood Phoenix getting around. <laughs> By the way, does the audio sound slightly better now? After I had to uh, sync the audio to the game? Actually, you know what? I should probably uh, send that to my headphones just to uh, double check make sure the audio sounds all right it's probably not that good right now but let's see what happens oh it's off so uh i'll have to fix that real quick Yeah, I'm sorry if the uh, women have very deep voices. Like I said, that's the Elgato's fault. I am hoping to, at some point, upgrade my gra my uh, capture card to something that I can actually trust. I don't know if the Elgato uh, USB uh, capture card is any better in terms of audio desynchronization. But I do know... Aw. Thank you for the follow. Where's my Bandicoot? He's not dancing. What the hell is this nonsense? I'm gonna have to fix that. I don't know why. There we go. Xavier gets the first win right there. I'm sure he had to work hard for it. <laughs> I'm trying to learn how to set your status in Discord. That's cute. By the way, if anybody wants to join me in the Discord for uh, chatting, hell, if you want to even join me for... Yeah, it is very close. Good job, uh, <laughs> Xavier. And we got a character change. Blood Phoenix bringing out that... Uh, uh, I'm not sure if that's schoolgirl Ayane in a Sunday dress or what. <laughs> <laughs> the neighbors are being held out. That's normal. There we go. Okay, it's fixed. Don't know why the bandicoot wasn't showing up. But it's all good now. But yeah, I'll be honest. The Elgato uh, internal graph, uh, capture card isn't that bad. It's just you gotta deal with constantly messing around with the uh, audio uh, desync. And the audio desync will change in tone dependent on a couple of factors, like if you lower it, like I have it set to minus 250 milliseconds. And that's just so I can line up the audio, like so the hits actually what they're hitting when the uh, sound come out, as opposed to like, okay, there's a punch and then two seconds later there's a punch. The punch sound effect. I, I miss my Black Magic Intensity Pro. I might actually upgrade to the latest uh, Black Magic card. People are telling me to go with Magwell, so who knows? We'll see what happens. 
I know a few people like uh, Andre from uh, Beefu Techie is telling me to uh, go with the Magwell. I mean, that's a $300 graphic, uh, capture card. I keep wanting to say graphic card for some reason. Alright, so Lord Xavier is on match point, but he's going in. He's getting uh, mixed up and thrown in the corner by uh, Blood Phoenix. Blood Phoenix baits him real well. Woo! Look at that damage. Very nice. There we go. He's going to tie things up. Very nice. Oh, hey, Tanami. I, I couldn't even tell that was you talking for a second because I'm like, okay, what is this random white uh, text saying? And there's it's talking. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Uh, save your uh, advances, ladies and gentlemen. That was a good fight, I have to say. Let's give a shout-out to uh, Blood Phoenix right there, so stick around. Okay, it's going to be me and Apollo. So, uh, let's get that on. No, Glara Croft God. Nah, brah. Nah, you ain't going to come in the middle of my tournament start trying to uh, play. That shit ain't happening. Corner I go to the wall I go. Wow, I forgot that kick tracks. That sucks. Very nice punish. Bit of lag going on here, but it's all it's it's fine, it's whatever. Yeah, there's definitely quite a bit of delay input, but it's all fine. I'll live. Alright, so 6-6-P isn't coming out. Awesome, thank you for following. Keep that bandicoot dancing. Yeah, that's life. Ah, oh, Xavier, you're an ass. You're a bigger ass, destruction bomb. Or no, 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 I'm sorry, who said that? Xavier, yeah, Xavier said that. You're you're an ass. <laughs> Ooh, 
Who's older, me or Genfu? I wonder if you people can hear me mashing my controller real hard just to make sure the inputs go through. I am working so fucking hard right now. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Hubs confirmed master. I hate you so much, Xavier. <laughs> <laughs> Buy harder, uh, mash harder. <laughs> I'm only matching because of the uh, little bit of input lag that there is in this match. Uh, nothing against you, Apollo. This is just uh, this is just a wow match, you know. I feel down here. Get ready. Ooh, nice counter, holy crap. Ooh, 
Oh, why did I do that twice? I'm trying to avoid doing that and I just do it anyway. No low kick for you. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do, but okay. Oh well, you see right there. He advances. GG, Apollo. Alright, let's get Tengu and Tanami. Tengu and Tanami. Yeah, good games, Apollo. Just real quick before the match starts, there is these uh, brackets as uh, they stand. They are now selecting their characters. So let's go back to that real quick. <laughs> no, it's okay, Apollo. Um, I just want to point out that if you are playing on the Wi-Fi, I do recommend that you please plug in your PlayStation into the network hardline as opposed to just Wi-Fi. That does make a big difference for anybody out there. Um, but anyway, still good games. That was that was fun. It's always it always feels good to win with uh, my backup character. Seems like my backup character is better than my main character. Go figure. <laughs> yeah, right. That'll be the day. Okay, let me tell you. The minute I pick Jackie or Hayabusa as my next character. That is the day Team Ninja and Sega announces Street F or uh, Dead or Alive Cross Virtual Fighter. I, I hate to be an ass, uh, Takeshi Ryota, but um, yeah, it does actually make a difference. I know, trust me. I mean, I'm not taking away that the netcode isn't ass, I'm just saying that it actually does make a bit of difference, especially like, you know, if you look at, let's say, Ultra Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix Edition Ultra, whatever. Um, it's a big difference if you're using the uh, USB Ethernet adapter or playing Wi-Fi. For all those that are turning in, oh, okay, you're just joking. Well, hey, it's the internet. I can't really see emotions. But anyway, if you're just now tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Dead or Alive 5 uh, FSD bi-weekly. Uh, we actually have a really good bracket. We got some really notable names in here. We got some of my... Uh, Free step dodge weekly uh, regulars here, so it, it's a good bracket all around. A lot of fun to be had. Unfortunately, John Black is not here to join me. He is uh, the normal commentator. He usually adds uh, so much to this. I'm just your ordinary, everyday, boring, monotonous sounding uh, commentator. You're an unknown Apollo, but you still got game. Woo! 
Look at that. Transforming bikinis. Now I've seen it all. Uh, knock Tengu's going to town. And takes the first round. Or match. Sorry, I had to say something that uh, rhymed. So, is Tanami going to stick with his uh, pie? Oh, he's going to pick Tina. He's got a decent Tina. I like watching his Tina in action. It's a lot of fun. Are you Garbo? Are you Garbo? Hmm. Yeah. Well, think about it. If I call you garbage, then what does that make me, Apollo? <laughs> you're terrible. Oh my god, you're just terrible. Woo, here we go. Force get up. Goes into a grab. I'm loving this Tina already. Gets the ground grab. Oh, stretch that bitch out. Wow. You can't stop her. Oh my god. <laughs> Xavier cheats. <laughs> what the hell is this? Everyone's coming in here. Xavier is accusing Xavier's accusing everyone of cheating. Everyone's accusing Xavier of cheating. Oh, y'all people need to stop. <laughs> well, at least you admit the cheating, Xavier. Woo! Oh, does the foot stomp, gets the air grab. Bam! He beat a bitch. Oop, butt bump. Or, uh, butt bump. Man, my grammar's amazing today. That's a that's a sad thing. I don't think I've seen IFC Ein in like forever. I used to see that dude all the time on uh, back in the Dead or Alive four days. Oh, he's playing Smite now. Oh, that explains why I don't see him. I got Smite on the Xbox. I don't know why I don't play it though. I got like the the, the character pack. And by the way, it's all tied up one one now. Yeah, like I said, I, I I have Smite. I actually bought the the the, the one pack <laughs> where I like spend twenty five bucks and then I get every character available and then all characters that are to be released. And I just haven't played it. It I, well, no, I have played it. I played it for like a good hour or so, just trying to figure out what character I like. I didn't get too far into playing Smite though, mainly because yeah, it's a game that's made for esports, and I just couldn't. I just don't have an esports mindset when it comes to stuff like this. Maybe if it was like, you know, 17 years ago, like back in the day when StarCraft first came out, where I was more highly competitive. I, hell, I was highly competitive in uh, first person shooters. Unreal Tournament and Quake 3 Arena was my jam back then. I was competing in that stuff well before I was competing in DOA. Really good game here right now. Schoolgirl or school teacher uh, Noctengu going at it with uh, bedtime uh, lingerie Tina. Oh, 
<laughs> You've been playing DOA <laughs> long before only because of the boobs. I'm sorry, but I, I, I can't fault you for that. That's a lot of the re that's one reason why a lot of people picked up the game to begin with. Ooh, punish. Goes in for the grab. Nice little fake out. Bam! Now he's up to match point. Oh, nice hold right there. I don't know, Shockwave, what did you see on the screen? Because apparently it might have been different from what I was seeing. But anyway, Noctengu uh, advances. And what was a really good set. Really enjoyed watching that. So let's get uh, Hollow and Crashum. Let's go, boys. What are you guys doing? Why, why, why can't you people press the button? Okay, that works. That works. Okay. He just left the room twice. Okay. I don't know what happened there. Now, Hollow Wichigo. I haven't seen this guy in a while. In fact, the last time he was in one of my tournaments was actually at the end of last year. Woo! So that's cool that I'm seeing a lot of you people here in the uh, Discord are saying that your first uh, game that got you competitive was uh, Five Ultimate. That's not a bad place, bad place to start, to be truthfully honest. Wichigo coming in with that uh, silver-haired fox, Christy, going up against Crashum, applying all kinds of nasty pressure. Ooh, he's got some good reads. He's not letting uh, Crashum get anything in. There we go, some solid uh, blocking, but it's not doing much now because he's allowing himself to be opened up. Woo, nice little get up attack. Back in the back against the wall, which is one of Christie's strengths, keeping you against the wall. Nice grab right there, puts him in the wall. Woo, guard break. This could actually win him the round right here. He gets a 6 6 K. Okay, no, he just has a sliver of health. Gets punished on the low kick. Oh man, what's with these people just jumping in and leaving the lobby? What the hell? Wow, just far away enough that he gets punished, or doesn't get the punish. Force tech, sidestepping him. All right, and the first match goes straight to Hollow. Advice uh, for you, Crashum. Don't use that wake-up attack. It's it's not very useful against her, especially since she can almost uh, duck under everything you send her way. <laughs> so we got some people. Destruction Bomb. Yours was DOA 3. All right, that's cool. Uh, I would say my first competitive game was Dead or Alive 4. That's what got me into the, the, the community. Or no, 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 I'm sorry. Competitive, Dead or Alive 4. Okay. Member of the DOA community, uh, 2 Ultimate. Alright, so... Sorry, I had to switch the wife tonight. Crashim is playing a more patient game now, but the life total now evens out. Hollow is just extremely aggressive with Chrissy. She is a very aggressive character. 
easily one of the best characters in the game. Ooh, just, that's crazy. Uh, if you people are leaving the room, I would recommend just coming back. Mainly because, you know, it is a double elimination tournament, and I don't want to, you know, unfortunately, defuse some people. Oh, your game froze? Okay. Soul Calibur 4, that was a good game to get competitive in. I really enjoyed Soul Calibur 4 a lot. So there we have it. So, uh... Hollow advances. Alright, don't be despaired, uh, Crashem. And we're gonna have uh, Apollo and Xavier play. If uh, they are, if let's see here, we only have Apollo in here, so let's get some of these people back in here real quick. Crap! Who do I have in here? I need to get Xavier back in here. Oh, Xavier's back in here. Okay. So Xavier and Paulo go at it, bras. All right, winner of this advances to uh, winners finals. Yeah, the game, in my opinion, was pretty balanced, except for uh, what's her face. Uh, um, the night chick. I forget her name. All of a sudden in Soul Calibur 4. She was broke as hell. She practically had near infinite with her attack. Hilda, thank you very much. I wanted to say Heather for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, Hilda was toned down in Dead in uh, in uh, Soul Calibur 5. She was she was nasty in 4. If you had an open arena, she could literally infinite you out of the ring. Or if you had a wall, she could just do so much damage it wasn't funny. So Xavier is starting to match off strong against Apollo. Apollo with that comeback. I'm going to go for the super juggle, super shuriken. Evens things out and gets the grab. Wins the round. Oh my goodness. So Xavier is trying to uh, send a message to Apollo. Gets him with a great. Oh, he does the little uh, uh, dancing. Ooh, nice read there. Gets him against the wall. Nice little wall combo. Trying to Korean backstep, but uh, he, he ain't doing it too well. Looks like he's uh, juking poorly. Breaks the combo throw very well. Trips him up in the water. Oh, nice counter into a tackle. Breaks the hold again. This is <laughs> uppercut out of nowhere. So Xavier just supplying some real good pressure. Now Apollo's doing uh, the same. Got got him against the wall. Goes in for a back gra ground grab. Oh, and it's over right there. Bam! And 
first match point goes to Xavier. What's well, a good fight so far? I mean, sure the score was three to one right there in that match, but it was really good. By the way, I just want to take a couple seconds and uh, ask everybody, what do you think of the video quality of tonight's stream? Does it look like it's better? No stuttering, no frame drops, none of that. Oh, good, then I am very happy that uh, y'all are satisfied. So anyway, Apollo is bringing out his Kokoho with the traditional uh, outfit she wore back in Dead or Alive 4 in her debut. But that doesn't seem to be deterring uh, Lord Xavier here. He is just mounting an offense regardless, just spacing properly, getting in, nice little mix-up, waiting for little mistakes like that to happen. Bam! Apollo now going in with a nice little uh, trick up his sleeve. Sends him into, oh, he doesn't get close enough to do a relaunch after hitting the table. Does a nice job of interrupting him, gets the throw. Boom. Doing a nice little mix up with that little throw, uh, combo throw of his. Mix up, oh, he gets held right there. Oh! Oh, nail biter right there. Holy crap. So Xavier is just pretty much in control here. I mean, it's still a close match. Ooh, that was a nice combo right there. Look at all that damage. Okay, they just stare at each other before somebody does something. Kicks him off the wall. Okay. <laughs> Xavier, what are you doing? There we go, and Apollo gets around on there. A little taunting going on here. Some camaraderie. No respect, he just attacks right after that hold. <laughs> it's like jab, jab, grab, hold. Ooh, goes in with the running punch. Don't call it a comeback. Okay, you can call it a comeback. And there you have it, Xavier advances to winner's finals. Up next, I need Hollow and Tengu. Mr. Nock Tengu. Is he not in here? Do I have to re-invite him? Oh, he's right there. Okay. Woo! Why are you going to sign off? Come back. Have some fun. <laughs> Apollo, stop. You can make you can run through bra through losers. It's all good. You're not garbage. Stop. 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 Apollo, you were really—you have a really good uh, couple of characters there. 
You got a good Mila, you got a really good Kokoro. Don't discourage yourself. Keep playing, homie. So here we go. Hollow coming at Naktingu with his Christy. He is just all sorts of all over uh, Light Sonic right now. Also known as uh, Noctingu in the offline tournament scene. This is not really a very favorable matchup. She is a bit of a slow character with not many options to get in on Christy. But then you got stuff like that and the fact that she's a lightweight. Christy's a lightweight, that's what I meant. Nice little punish right there. Ooh, wall damage. Is there a coconut coming? Oh, they dodged the coconut. They have been spared by the coconut gods today. And there's a little bit of uh, loving hugs. Into the water we go, ladies and gentlemen. Sidestep action going on. A little bit of a mix-up game. Hollow Witch is just getting all over uh, Light Sonic. After a little bit of spacing, uh, Hollow is already in his face once again. Oh, nice little uh, capture. Ah, this is gonna hurt. Potentially kill. Misses the low bro. Oh, goes underneath him. That was great. I love it. Knock Tengu working real hard to just stay on top of Hollow, who has just an extre extremely aggressive Christy right now. Woo, look at that. Just like that, Hollow's like, yo. <laughs> nice air grab right there. Get him to half-life. Hollow just uh, practically equalizing everything out. Could easily win this now. Just the aggressiveness of his combos. Not letting uh, like Tingu get in, but he just manages to find something. Throw right here. This could easily uh, win it or tie it. Misses the low grab, but still gets the follow grab on the wake up. Gets the win. Oh my goodness. And Tengu licking her lips with satisfaction of that victory. And Hollow switching to Alpha. This is going to be uh, crazy. Been several months since I've seen Hollow use his Alpha, so let's see what happens. I'm sure there's going to be lots of uh, chaos and pandemonium. <laughs> lots of force decking going on right now, and a mix-up game coming from Hollow Witch with his Alpha. Very good job. Wow, does a very nice job. I thought he was going to get caught in that. Woo! Light Sonic now uh, taking advantage of the fact that there's no wake-up attack from uh, Alpha whatsoever. Manages to <laughs> come back for the win of the round. There we go. Big damage right here. Guard stuns left and right. Oh, look at that. Woo! Nyak Tengu making a statement right here. Force deck right there. 
I wouldn't be surprised if he tries to go for the throw right here. Nope, he goes for the uh, burst. That still does quite a bit of damage. Gets the round. There we go. Gets launched, in, launched into the air. Good damage. Could be relaunched right here. Oh no! Does a nice little for uh, tech wake up of her own. And there you have it. Wow, that was an amazing uh, match right there, regardless. So we have a UGS uh, winner's finals. But now we are going to start the loser's bracket. And uh, I need tribal eyebrows to join me, please. There we go. Let us go. Have a good luck, sir. It shouldn't hurt your soul, Apollo. The fact that it's called a loser's racket means you had to have at least lost once. But think about it this way. If you lose early in the loser's bracket, you don't have to be embarrassed at being the best of the worst if you come in second place. She went under me, bitch. <laughs> that hurts. Oh, that's not a mid kick. Okay, that's good to know. She was in range for that throw? Get the fuck out of here. That's crazy. A little bit of lag right there. All right, we cleaned up. The lag is back. Oh my. That hurts. I can't punish, it's online. <laughs> the lag always on my side. <laughs> I'm never good at punishing online. Never have been, never will be. I'm thinking of changing my character now because old man versus little girl just doesn't seem right. Ready? 
Yo, that, like, extra bit of distance just covered. Very nice hold. Yo, what the fuck happened there? What was that? How did I miss my follow-up? It had to be the wall that caused that somehow. That was just weird. Sucks. Can't believe he's gonna get a comeback off me like that. Damn it, into the clown's mouth. Can't believe he just got a comeback on me just like that. I screwed that up real good. Nope. 
No, I don't want to be in this corner. No, I don't want to be hugged. No, I, I guessed wrong. <laughs> All right, I'm out. All right, congratulations, Tribal. Good job. So now I need a... Uh... Oh, did I hit... The... Oh, I didn't hit... Ah, crap. Hey, Tribal, quit the, the room real quick and come back. All right, thanks, buddy. Let me uh, let me invite him back in here real quick. Uh, don't start just yet, but I do need um, Blood Phoenix and Shockwave to uh, step up to the plate, please. Don't worry, you're going to be coming up next. Save here, will you stop leaving and coming back? Shockwave, come on, brah. Let's get started. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to start a leave limit. That is a good idea. All right. If I see you leave one more time, you're DQ'd. To losers. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We got Blood Phoenix going up against Shockwave uh, Ryu. Okay, first off, I want to give a shout out to the guy with the awesome name, Chef Boy Armani. So here we go. Blood Phoenix going in with Moma G, Shockwave coming in with Pi. Two dark haired beauties. Blood Phoenix doing her uh, best impression of uh, Policewoman Joy from Pokemon. <laughs> Going down we go. Woo. Blood Phoenix is uh, doing some really good blocking right there. Doing a real good job of reading Shockwave as well, knowing when to uh, hold. Doing a real good job of that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Damn. The yawns are real. Shockwave trying to go for a mix-up game. Gets held by Blood Phoenix. He's just doing a great job defensive-wise. Nice little jab and poke game right there from uh, Blood Phoenix and Shockwave. Trading off. Ooh, there we go. He could probably take this round right here. Is he going to knock him to the tree? Yes, he does. All he's got to do is blow on him. Goes in with the dragon kick. Bam. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. Jenny the cop. It's uh, it's Nurse Joy. That's right. From Pokemon. You can tell how long it's been since I've watched the damn Pokemon anime. Probably a good ten years. Get ready, 
All I know, all I remember is that Brock had a, a boner for every chick that he ran, came across. Except Misty. Don't know why he had no boner for her. Oh, really, Cratchum? You're saying uh, Brock has a fetish for older women? I guess that's possible. But that's age discrimination. Well, you know what? Fuck it. Never mind. I, I, I'm not going there. We're not doing this lolly shit. Misty's what, like, 15, 13 in the in the in the anime? Yeah, that's right. I remember that. First couple of episodes, Ash stole uh, Misty's bike so he could get Pikachu to the uh, hospital. And uh, Officer Jenny wins the first match right there. <laughs> so here we go. Is uh, Shockwave going to change up? Now he looks like he's going to stick with Pi. For whatever reason, just looking at this pose right here, Pi reminds me of Casca from Berserk. Just the way she looks right there. If she just had a darker skin tone, she would look like uh, Casca. There we go with some force techs. Doing some flips and kicks. And some uh, weird ass shit. How do those suspenders manage to just stay on her breast like that? I have no idea. You think there'd be a nipple? Oh, wait. Eh, who cares? Oh, it's a t shirt. Okay. I thought it was uh, just suspenders covering her. But then again, I wouldn't put it past this game to do that. For the, for the uh, game designers to just say, hey, you know what? Instead of a t shirt held up by suspenders, let's just use the suspenders. I mean, we have fucking string bikinis, why not? like Shockwave's bouncing an offense right here. To the middle of the arena we go. Does a couple of double jumps. Ooh, confirm into a throw. Gets a juggle out of it. Force tax and jumps in with the knee. And there you have it. Blood Phoenix advances in the pools. So up next is Crashem and Tanami. I need Crashem and Tanami. I know you guys have been waiting, so uh, get in there. Oh, if you're talking about the uh, that thing, that was uh, I don't know if that was a GoFundMe or something else. But that was something my wife or my uh, my dad started up. It was a donation thing that would allow me to uh, pay my bills while I was out of work for eight weeks because I donated my kidney to my mom. That's what you're thinking of, uh, uh, Destruct. I don't have a donation page for my Twitch. Um, 
you can subscribe to me and you can uh, give me bits. Feel free to give me bits if you want. I don't think that's the same, but you know, it's whatever. So here we go, Crasham going in with his Ayn against Tanami with his Tina, his oh-so-good Tina, his delicious Tina, with the default costume, oddly enough. Yeah, PayPal has been a pain in the ass. Um, the last couple of years, anyway, when it comes to certain things, there was an issue recently with PayPal in regards to watermelon games. Uh, they just sent an email saying that their uh, newest Genesis uh, game, Papriam, is being delayed till early 2018 now instead of a fall 2017 release because they just now got their money from PayPal. They've, uh, they've been fighting with them and arguing them because apparently they had a huge uh, pre-order going on through uh, through PayPal. And they just now finally got their money like after two months of arguing with them. I mean, it's, 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 just, it's a matter of two things. If you're not a cons I've talked to somebody at PayPal and they say if you're not a consistent seller, like if you don't sell something at least a couple times to maybe once every other week, once a week or something like that, you're not gonna get your money right away. You're gonna have to, uh, there's gonna be a holding period for your money if you're not a seller. So like if let's say somebody buys something off of you on eBay, like I sold a copy of uh, Dead or Alive 5 for the Vita and uh, Ninja Gaiden 3 for the Vita, and I couldn't get my money back for at least, a, I couldn't get my money for a month because they had a hold on it because I wasn't, a, I wasn't a, a seller. But if you're a seller, they don't, um, after that initial month, they, uh, they don't hold your money anymore. You can just literally get it uh, sent to your account. I don't know if that made sense. Maybe I complicated it, uh, made it sound more complicated than it really was. Yeah, it is kind of stupid. I agree with you on that one, Paulo. And uh, I, I now actually start to use, uh, if I buy something off of a random seller on a Facebook video game page, they're always asking if you can pay them via friends and family, and I refuse to. I only sell, I only uh, pay via merchant because if you pay via friends and family, and let's say they don't give you your damn game, you can't get your money back. You'd have to go through the whole spiel. You don't get uh, PayPal protection. You'd have to go through the whole spiel of going, calling your bank or your credit card company and having them reverse the charge and opening up a claim with them. I was lucky enough to do that because, and my bank reversed the charge because I had a friend who was gonna sell me four Sega CD games and the dipshit never uh, sent them my way. I sent him about $80 and I never got them. So three months later, I opened up the claim and I got my money back. That's why if you're gonna buy something off of somebody and they're asking friends and family, never do it because it's just, it's a lot harder to get your money back that way. Whereas if you do it through uh, merchant, you just open up a claim with PayPal and you're more than likely going to get your money back. So Crashing here is uh, turning things around a bit. I mean, right now, Tanami looks like he's uh, about to uh, get this round. A little bit of spacing going on right here. Tanami just wants to breathe on him. Oh my goodness, Crashum could easily tie this match up. Doesn't low punish! Why? Why? Drops the juggle.
Tanami going in for that comeback. Gets an offensive grab right there. Gets the low guaranteed ground grab. Ties it up two rounds apiece. We're going to the uh, final or match point for a Tanami here to advance in the losers bracket. After what seemed like a uh, a quick one two from Crashem is now turning into a deficit. He's at half life right now. There he goes, it's over with. Oh, he breaks out of the combo throw, holy crap. Force attacks, trips him up. Oh, okay, there you go. Now we're going to another game, everybody. Crash him, ties it up, 1-1. One, one. This is getting good. I must say, for a 12-man uh, tournament, we are moving along pretty well. <laughs> the last couple of tournaments have been like six or eight, sometimes maybe even a nine-man tournament, and I would have those done by like 10.30. We could actually be done probably around 11.30, longest-running tournament I've had so far in the last few months. I'm really happy with this. We got some excellent matches going on here. Uh, Team UGS, of course, stepping up. So here we go, Tanami bringing out the uh, the very scantily bunny outfit. Crash him, looking for that uh, <laughs> that counter so he can grab him. And up one nothing right now. Crash him over Tanami, which is a really good match. Up oh, back turn, suplex, suplex city, bitch. Interrupts the follow-up. Nobody ever does that follow-up. It's not a really good one, to be honest. And look at that. Just like that, Tanami literally uh, just needs to breathe on him. There we go. Now I can say he, he's, he's now tied it up. So a little bit of spacing going on here. Little interrupt there, goes for the throw. Woo, little combo, we're sitting here fighting in the corner. A lot of damage right there. Gets the ground grab, stretches him out a bit. Doesn't kill him though. Wow, nice little follow up there. Oh my goodness! Crash him up to nothing against Tanami. Crashin really likes to do that uh, 2P a lot. Nice fake out right there. Good damage. He's just doing a good job of interrupting him. Trying to stay alive, but doesn't. Tanami ties it up. Match point. Here we go. Ground grab. Smashes him face first into the granite. Bad idea. Another ground grab, stretch. Ooh, gets him with the flip. Tries to do the fake flip, gets caught. And there you have it, Tanami advances after a really, really tough match right there. It was really tight, down to the wire. Thank you very much. Now it is Tribal Brown Eyes. Fuck. Tribal eyebrows. What are you guys doing? Man, nobody knows how to hit the circle button? <laughs> you did real good, uh, Crash'em. 
did real good, buddy. All right, so uh, Phoenix, get up in there. All righty. So, for anybody just tuning in, oh god, are we doing this really? I'm sitting here getting ready to do my uh, intro for all newcomers, and we're getting a fucking lolly mirror. I hate life. What is life? But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you're just now tuning in, welcome to the free stop. Free welcome to the free step dodge, Dead or Alive 5, last round bi weekly. We have a really uh, entertaining tournament going on for you right now. A lot of big names, a lot of uh, regulars, just all around amazing matches going on. Except this one right here because it's fucking lollies. And yes, this old timer does have something against the lollies. You want you want to do something about it, huh? New generation, get her, uh, get out of here. Call me old timer. You know what? I think it's my nap time. Let's stop the tournament right now. <laughs> I can see myself at 80 years old drinking a, a Monster Energy drink, holding the DOA, holding the controller, and playing DOA 72. <laughs> Back in my day, you fucking youngers. Don't know how to play this game. I swear to God, Marie Rose must be a vampire. She's somehow still 16. Oh. <laughs> After her debut 40 years ago. Got caught and still manages to counter him. By the way, do not start your next match. I want to make sure veteran commando, whoever joined the room, does not interrupt the game. Call me Apollo. Did you get DQ'd? No. You, uh, you're next. You're in the uh, third round of the uh, losers bracket, so your match is next. I know you're waiting, so, uh, Thank you for being patient, but that's what you get for advancing really far in the tournament. And just like that, Blood Phoenix is up one nothing. Please, please pick somebody other than a lolly, please, for the love of God. Okay, good. Go ahead and start. He's not in the match. Uh, did somebody freeze? Uh-oh, let's get Tribal back in here. And let's get Tingu back in here. in here. Alright, yeah, Tingu's not in here. Xavier's not in here. You kids need to stop messing up your game. Is Tanami in there? I think he is. Get 
Konami's back. Late Sonic's back. Okay, good. All right, let's get back into. Let's get this back. Let's, blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to sabotage my stream. He ain't doing a very good job. We're gonna still make good time. Still sticking with the lollies, god damn it. So we got Witch Costume and a variation of the schoolgirl slash cowgirl country girl costume. <laughs> you know what? I need to drink some bourbon or something. A little bit of alcohol should do me good. But I don't drink, so I think I have a, a quite the conundrum. There we go, bad blood phoenix. Making that epic comeback right there. Oh! Blew it right there at the very end. A lolly sabotage, huh? Lollytage. Is that what we're gonna call it now? Lollygate. Everyone pick Marie Rose on Hubs' stream. Lollygate. Nice hold. Thank you for the request, Apollo. There's going to be a fire. Oh! No oil tankers. That's a shame. And Blood Phoenix. One point away from match point. <laughs> People are trying to be friends with me. People like me. You like me. You really like me. Oh my god. <laughs> Random taunt all of a sudden. Tribal Eyebrow says, I ain't taking your shit. Catches him. Oh my god. And there you have it. Uh, shout out to Tribal for, uh, Doing a real good job in the tournament. That was a good match right there. Alright, so we have Apollo and Tanami. Time for you guys to go at it. <laughs> Tom was an accident. <laughs> Friends with pillows? Oh, you can go to hell, son. Yeah, I am. I'm only friends with pillows. Guess what? They're on my wife's chest, so ha. I'm friends with her pillows. Take that. Get 
So Tanami going straight to Tina. Apollo, not fooling around, wants to win. Goes straight to Kokoro. So we're going to have a good matchup going right here. I'm not putting my wife on the spot. <laughs> Oh dear, we got transformations. Nami saying yo. Look at me, I'm a power ranger. With less clothes. Dolphins playing in the background. By the way, I'm lazy. Would somebody please tell me uh, who won tonight's NFL games? Or who's winning the first one? The second one should have been starting by now. It's kind of weird. I think it's kind of stupid for two NFL games to be playing on a Monday night. Douglas closed just went boom. Apollo gets a, a point on the board. Good match right here, Apollo evening things out. Sidesteps the drop kick, the low drop kick. Leaving himself open to be punished with that back turn. Good leg grab, doesn't manage to finish the throw. in for the running throw doesn't get it Apollo kicking the ankles goes in for the uh, win all right crash them thank you for hanging around buddy I know you're hungry eat enjoy your food <laughs> <laughs> so Tanami goes to Pi. Apollo doing a pretty good job defensively. Well, up until he started getting jabbed, he got a little combo. Keeping a uh, tsunami away from him so he doesn't get his poke game on with Pi. The taunts. Oh, the salt is real. Hold right there by Apollo. Gets out of the wall. Critical stuns. Gets the burst. Nice little juggle. A little bit of lag right there to interfere with my viewing. And everybody else's viewing. All I know is his bodies are flipping and freezing. Something's happening. It looks like Tanami won. Got 
Flip kicks and teleports. You got freezing and juggling. They're just trying to poke each other, looking for openings. Knock Tengu, or uh, Apollo tried to go in for a throw and got jabbed. Tanami getting kicked by Kokoro. Match point right here for Apollo. Tanami managing to poke his way, get him into the corner. Throw to get him back facing the wall. Stuns. Gets a little juggle right there. Drops the final hit, though. I don't know what is going on right now. There seems to be so much lag going on in this match. Oh, apparently there was a KO. So, Toonami ties things up. Still match point for Apollo, though. So yeah, I do apologize with the uh, the lag that's currently going on in the match. Apparently the connection with, between uh, me and Apollo is uh, disrupting the viewing between... Uh, uh, disrupting the viewing for everybody. So right there, Apollo wins and advances. And he makes his way towards Loser Semis. Up next, we have Hollow and Blood Phoenix. Man, nobody knows how to hit that circle button. All right, just come back whenever you can, Apollo. I know you backed out. Thank you for that. Just waiting on Phoenix and a hollow witch go. Thank you once again for participating, Tanami. Always a pleasure to have you. <laughs> Xavier, why are you trolling? Stop. Xavier, you're mean. And welcome, Shin Maruku. How are you? So we now have... Hollow picking phase four, and Blood Phoenix going to uh, Ayane. We're seeing some twirling, we're seeing some really awesome stuff already. There we go, nice little combo, takes a good third of her life. Blood Phoenix trying to play the distance game, but Hollow is just getting in there. Phase 4 is a pretty good character to get in. That's not to say that Ayane doesn't have the tools to keep her out. She probably has one of the best uh, <laughs> jabs in the game. One of the best crushes in the game. That is what I mean. Nice hold right there. Blood Phoenix being a very patient person but opens himself up. And this should be the round right here. And 
it is. Hobbs is a very respectable human being. You don't know me that well, apparently, Xavier. I'm a disgusting, pathetic human being. So Blood Phoenix right here is playing with the life lead, but Talo is slowly uh, uh, dwindling his life. Playing the distance game again right there. Trying to stay away from the walls as best as possible. Nice sidestep. Woo! Very go. Very good. Very good. Combining words here. I'm gonna create a brand new library of uh, words for the English dictionary. Corner shenanigans. Hollow doing a pretty good job of uh, keeping him on his toes, interrupting his strings every time he does the jab jab. How am I going to scare viewers away? <laughs> I don't know who is who. I'm mostly referring to the characters. I'm not saying he should you. I'm also not paying attention to the chat whenever you guys tell me who's a girl, who's a guy. I'm old. I have bad memory. Past my bedtime. Please go easy on me. Anyway, Hollow is up one nothing. Xavier, you're trolling hardcore tonight, man. I love it. Alright, we're coming up on match point right here for Hollow. Wow, starts off with a critical burst in the match, but something happened and he couldn't capitalize on a combo. Follows up with a pretty good hold. Blood Phoenix is trying to develop some kind of offense here. Gets it. Small little juggle, good chunk of life. Tries to sidestep, gets caught. Them kicks, though. Alright, so here we go. Hollow advances. I need Apollo and Blood Phoenix to go at it. It is now losers semis. If you want to take a short break, Apollo or uh, Blood Phoenix, go right ahead. Just give yourself a minute or two. Phoenix is ready. Let's go. Let's do this. Loser semis. And if you are now tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Free Step Dodge Dead or Alive 5 last round bi weekly tournament. We are actually in the final one of the final four matches of the night, potentially five, depends on uh, how well everything goes. This is the Losers Semi match right here between Call Me Apollo and Hollow Ichigo.
What do you mean reading brackets wrong? Phoenix is uh, opting to choose Lei Fang, who is actually a really good character in this game, in my opinion. Love the striped outfit, by the way. It's totally chic. Wait, hold up. Oh, did I F something up? Oh my god. Yeah, I effed this up. Oh, how did I do that? Alright, yeah, it's supposed to be Blood versus Apollo. My bad. Yeah, just go ahead and end this. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I effed up big time. Wait, no, what? I ex oh. You guys got me all confused now. I had the score right the first time, and now you're telling me I didn't? What the hell? I'll tell you what's going on right now. <laughs> I'm tired, exhausted. <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to make excuses for myself. I'm a little tired and exhausted, and I have a severe amount of pain going on right now in my neck. So I'm not really able to concentrate that well in regards to this, so. Yeah, the brackets were correct, the players were not. Okay, so I called the wrong match, but I had the brackets right. I don't know what oh Jesus Christ. So we have in ourselves a little uh near end of tournament uh experience here where I'm just I have mentally checked out apparently So yeah, I am sorry about that. Hollow, get in there, Blood Phoenix. I hmm. Uh, sorry, Blood Phoenix, it's not you right now. Yeah, it's uh, it's Hollow and Apollo. Sorry for the mix-up. Again, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for the little mix-up. Yeah, Hubs is old. I need to take my meds and go to bed. I'm an old man. You youngins don't know uh, what it's like being old. You'll get there one day. You'll understand. 
So there we go, itch you go. Going to t going to work already with Christy. Bam. Doesn't even mean uh, see her hitting the ice, she just uh, starts next round. Yes, I am old as fuck. Woo! Teleporting all over the place. Apollo is mounting some form of an offense, which is great. Doing a much better job on his defensive leads. But uh, Hollow is still coming in with some really, really tough uh, tough tricks. But we got Apollo now. Showing signs of life. Showing he can hang with the big boys. Which isn't this like the prettiest ice glacier you've ever seen? Look at that. It's so pretty you can actually see through the wall itself. <laughs> Everyone will pick up a cure if they win. Yep. That's the that's what's gonna happen. go. First match goes to uh, Hollow. Hey, I appreciate that. Everyone donate to my uh, to my med fund. I need my meds. Keep me sane. Should buy some fish oils to go with that too. Help me out. It'll go great with the shitloads of caffeine I consume in a day. Just to keep myself going. What the hell's going on in the chat? Now we're talking about cereal? Okay. Hollow being an ass. Back turn throws left and right. Wow, Apollo does the ground grab. The follow up and it events eventually leads to him losing. Back turn juggle. Exploding barrel, free launch. This decides to combo to uh, continue the combo and gets punished for it. Lucky Charms. Yep, my kid loves Lucky Charms, but he only eats the marshmallows. They should just make a Lucky Charm cereal that's all marshmallows. The only problem with that, though, is that the marshmallows will eventually disappear because <laughs> they melt quickly in milk. What are you talking about, Christy needing uh, nerfs? Dude, she's got a ball and chain right there. That should be uh, making her a heavyweight right away for juggles. 
Actually, you know what? That would make her even more broke. Now you can't juggle her lightweight ass. Yo, what's up, bro, GQ? Feel free to join the Discord and maybe help me commentate the final four matches. We're right now in the middle of arguing what is the better cereal. And there you have it, Hollow advances to loser's final. And now, we're gonna have winter finals. Why do you people keep, why does nobody know how to press the circle button? <laughs> oh, don't leave uh, yet, Apollo. You did a good job, buddy. That was a great match. So here we go. We're going to have winner's finals. Best of three. Or best of five. I'm sorry. Nah, don't be like that, Apollo. Yeah, I know. I goofed. Academy. How was the police academy going, buddy? Come on, you, you can stick around for a couple minutes. You don't have to be in bed until 11. Here we go. We got a UGS uh, winner's finals right here. Xavier and uh, Tigu. the worst, but you know what? You will have one hell of a sense of accomplishment once you come out. Now, now, Apollo. Let's not get salty, homie. Christy's a pain in the ass for anybody to play against. Christy Online is just... broke. You don't do online events? Oh, come on. You should come back and totally sign up for an online tournament. <laughs> you watch everybody else get mad. Or GQ, you should have seen how mad I would get playing online. I'm sure all the old DOA heads could tell you stories of how much rage I was filled with. Yo, she flew on top of you and bitch slapped her ass. Oh, there were stories. People stopped inviting me into rooms because of how rage-induced I could be. <laughs> Amazing how I did a total 180. I mean, that is true. You, I get mad playing online but only because that's the only means for me to practice. Or no, I don't get mad online, I get mad offline. Mainly because, yeah, like I said, online is my only means of practice. It's not like we have a scene in Philadelphia. I mean, there's players in Philly, but they're just impossible to get to come together. There you have it. One nothing to Lord Zave or uh, to uh, knock Tingu. Oh no! R.I.P. Lord Xavier's streak. Womp womp.
<laughs> Xavier taking time from the tournament to sit here and cry about his uh, his win streak. Looks like he might be regrouping. Is he going to pick a Tomy again? Oh, no, we're not going to have this argument about DOA being dead. Ooh, manages to land and get the throw in time. Wow, Lord Xavier just coming in and equalizing everything out. Ooh, we get a taunt! Tengu says, get off my balcony, bitch. The punish right there, face first into the wall. Tries to get away from the wall and is back into another. Love that neutral grab. And it's over right there for Xavier. He doesn't drop this combo. Bam, one round apiece. You're free to go, Apollo. I mean, we're in winner's finals right now. I mean, thank you for competing. I hope you don't feel discouraged. I would love to have you back again for the next tournament, which will be in a couple weeks. And two rounds right now to one. Not Tengu, feeling it. Sends him over the edge, and he's going down. Bam. A good third of his life is gone. Tries to use the wind. Neutral grab. It's beautiful, but he can't get a follow-up to go with it. Not Tengu, man. Doing a good job on the offensive end, but uh, Xavier doing decently on uh, defense. Catches him with a delayed punch. Hmm. Xavier's like, fuck this shit. He's just going all out offensive. Throw break. Ooh, that was very unsafe right there. I'm surprised uh, Xavier didn't get up fast enough. But he runs up and gets the throw and taunts. No, you're good, Apollo. I told you, you don't have any more matches, buddy. So we are now at one match apiece right here in winner's finals. Uh-oh. Xavier's back in chat. Rawr. Nah, stick around. Enjoy the matches. This is how you get better at the game, Apollo. You watch and you observe and you break down uh, what you see going on. Match is now resuming. Once again, 
on the tops of uh, mountain plateaus. Who will be the first to fall over the edge? I'm gonna think Xavier is gonna be the first to go flying. Yep, I was right. Damn, I'm good. Bam, bam, bam. I love that throw too much. Woo, Tengu going in with that mix-up, flying and punching. Uh-oh, Xavier now starting his mix-up. He gets sidestepped. Misses the low grab, but he doesn't get punished for it either. Oh, he doesn't get the, 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 the object for a possible relaunch, which is a shame. Tries to draw the counter, uh, the counter, and he doesn't get the throw, but he still ends up winning the match. Or round, sorry. And over the edge again, Xavier goes. And there you go, 2-1 now in uh, Tengu's favor. We're gonna see a character change or just costume change. Yeah, we got the uh, Power Girl costume change right here. With the little heart-shaped cleavage shot. Yes, it's uh, first to three, Tengu. I thought you knew that, man. I only said it a couple times. <laughs> So the question is, is, does Xavier feel super now, wearing his Supergirl outfit, or Power Girl outfit? I don't know, but to be truthfully honest, it seems like he's a little bit more aggressive now. Oh! Finally manages to kick him for the quick win. Uh, those were the days back in Dead or Alive. Two, you, and three. You just draw people in, instantly do 9k beat, 9k punch. Yeah, that pissed people off. Just by how high priority that move was. Not really the same here, but you know. Goes in for the bitch slap. Oh, doesn't capitalize on the mix up game. Let's Xavier drop to the ground. Now he's going to win it right here. Gets the air grab. Bam. One, he is match point right now. For advancing to grand finals. Hey, if you stream tonight, Destruction Bomb, uh, give me your channel link and I'll uh, host you. As if I don't decide to stream uh, some Bloodborne after this. Or, no, 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 screw that. I just got Yeast uh, 8. I might stream that. And he goes with the grab, and there he goes. He advances to Grand Finals. 
So I would like Xavier to stay uh, tap for the match. We're gonna have a grant or a loser finals match between Hollow and uh, Lord Xavier. So go at it, Hollow, what you go. And these last three matches are really good. Thank you very much, uh, D Bomb. <laughs> so, Hollow Witch Go is not taking chances. He's going straight to Alpha, feeling that is his best chance to win. That's gonna hurt. High counter grab against the wall. He's poking away. Not a good idea to be truthfully honest waking up as Alpha against the wall. It just pins you. Your whole game better be on point with uh, out with uh, Alpha if you want to be able to get out of that wall or corner situation when you do wake ups. Otherwise you're not gonna be able to uh, escape like just, just like that right there. Oh he's looking I saw what he was doing right there, that little jig. He wanted to do that high counter grab. Oh high counter throw. You are now tuning in. Thank you for uh, watching. This is the Free Step Dodge DOA 5, last round bi weekly. We are now currently in the loser finals match. So this tournament is just about to wrap up. Do feel free to watch the archive upon the completion of the tournament. I will be uploading it also to YouTube, which you can see right there. The addresses for each of my uh, social media and or sites. Uh, we got slash five club hubs if you want to look for my archives for everything that I do on Twitch in regards to like my main shows, which is three vets and a noob, GVN Live, the DOA uh, bi weeklies, and Game Jam. You can follow me on Twitter if you feel like it. I'm trying to use Twitter more often other than just. Posting whenever a tournament or something is going live, one of my shows is going live. So, continuing on, looks like Hollow is switching to Chrissy. Might give him a better chance at success. A bit more aggressive, more tools in my opinion to use in Alpha. Lord Xavier is uh, working a little bit harder now, uh, not just on the offensive front, but just uh, on the defensive front because Christy just has more tools at her disposal than Alpha does. Of course, Xavier is uh, very well of the arsenal that Christy has, so he definitely knows how to counteract most of that. Like right there, we got a nice little hold. He's doing everything he can to open up Hollow. Doing a pretty good job of blocking right there. Gets held, so this is Hollow's chance to get aggressive. Does a real good job with the poking, and keeps with it. Manages to finish the string. Get 
Nice little quick juggle right there. Oh, under Half-Life already. And just like that, Xavier capitalizes on keeping the uh, hollow open. He's up now 2-0 in the loser finals. So it looks like we're going to get a character change. He's going back to Alpha. <laughs> if you're not in the uh, chat room for Twitch, then you're missing some hilarious uh, commentary from Lord Xavier between him and Noctengu. Now Hollow is trying to be a little bit more uh, patient as he plays with Alpha against uh, Xavier. Much better use of uh, defensive options now. You need to teleport, maybe be able to get behind. There we go. Xavier, though, pretty good at his uh, spacing game. But Hollow just getting in there real quick. Two times against the fire ring. Bam! Against the mirror. Good job walking. Well, we're ducking the uh, throw. Ooh, wrong choice right there. There you go. Hollow, however, seems to have uh, changed things up. He is now in command. Two rounds to none right now. Definitely showing more of a uh, aggressive side right now. Definitely being a lot more patient. Poking, trying to find openings. With a force tech. Oh! Nice hold right there by Xavier. Good damage right there, keeping him in the corner. Now that's definitely not where you want to be if you're an alpha player because it's just so hard to get out of there. It's just an awkward situation for the wake up. Force tech, he's against the wall, wants to get away from there. Nice, he's gonna get a good bit of damage off of here. Ah, oh, long kick right there. Gets the force tech though to continue and gets the win right here. He is now on the board, two to one in loser finals. Will we see a character change or is Xavier still confident in his Hitomi? Maybe he's gonna change costume. Couldn't do the, couldn't finish the deal with, uh, or seal the deal in the teddy bear shirt. Okay, that was weird. Bounced off the wall, didn't break it. Okay, just runs through the through the column. Ooh, tries to go for the burst, gets countered though. Oh, no high counter. It's still gonna hurt though. Jesus. If it was a high counter, would have killed him. Ooh, hollow. Doing a great job of adapting. He's trying to bait him to go for high damage throws. Ooh, nice little mix up game that Hollow's got going on here with Alpha. He's just crushing uh, Xavier's attacks. Nice little parry to start the match, or start the round off. Ooh! 
the disrespect and what just happened there. Nice blocking. Definitely seen a complete change in momentum here as Hollow seeming to have found his stride going up against Xavier. He now ties it up in loser finals 2-2. Two to not, two, two. So here we go, coming down to the wire right here, last match in this uh, first of three for loser finals. Who will make it to the grand finals? Are we going to see a UGS grand final? Or are we going to see Hollow come in and defeat last week's, or the last tournament's champion, Lord Xavier? And Xavier is going back to the Power Girl outfit. Somehow assuming it's going to give him the energy and the strength he needs to uh, achieve victory. And here we are in the Ninja Dojo. I wonder who's going to be the first to go flying out the wall. Some very patience. Oh, God, this is going to hurt. Bam! Caught him countering. Oh, goes for the offensive hold, and he's going to win this one right here. Wow, surprisingly, nobody got thrown out the uh, the wall in the first round. Woo, back turn flip. After that first round, Xavier is now playing a little bit more patiently, but it's not really helping. Woo! Nice teleport. Force teching him. Gets him against the wall. Bam! Nice throw. Force tech again. Perry gets flipped out of the uh, dojo. Now we're on the rooftop. Now who's going to get sent over the edge? Yep, I think it's going to be uh, Hollow. So here we go. Match point right here for Hollow. Xavier needs to get on the board to tie things up. He wants to survive, and that's going to hurt. Bam! Hollow now in control. Flip kick. Teleports. <laughs> oh my goodness. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Our grand finals is set. Epic comeback on Hollow's uh, part. We now have Noctengu versus Hollow. Ichigo. Thank you, Xavier, for uh, participating. I hope to see you in the next one. And here we are. And here we are, Grand Finals. Noctengu versus Haluichigo. Oh, we're going to start the match off like this. Bam. Oh, Light Sonic. Tengu having to work extra hard now because of the damage that would throw uh, dealt him. Working from behind. Nice little mix-up right there. Oh, he has it. 
does the air grab to seal the deal on the first round. Ichigo doing a great job of reading most of his uh, attacks. Sees the throws coming and immediately jabs to get out of them. Tries to go for the back flip again. Oh, pile driver. Bam. Woo. Tengu doing a real good job of showing us how good his offense is. And we're going to see some real good damage right here. Drop the combo. Doesn't get anything against the wall, but does uh, on the second attempt. Hollow needs to find some way of uh, containing uh, <laughs> Dr. Tengu's offense, which is actually really good once you uh, get it going. So up one nothing right now in this uh, first to three grand finals. Hollow Ichigo, however, has to win six. Two more to go for uh, Noctingu. So here we go. It's almost Halloween, so I would say the uh, theme of this uh, stage is almost appropriate. Nice little teleport right there to start the matchup. Hollow looking to uh, poke him up. Nice damage right there off of that little combo. That's a quick first round right there. 14 seconds. Ooh, fake out with the air grab. So not a place he wants to be right now against the wall. <laughs> he just turns around and just grates him. So this is just uh, a really good match going on between these two. Hollow needs to work real hard on trying to contain Noctingu's offense, which has a lot of things going for it right now. High damage once he gets uh, the juggle. Hollow needs to start using more of her pokes. Stop trying to go for the, uh, the high damage counter throws. I mean, those are real nice to do, and they can definitely be a game changer. But most people who are playing against Alpha are expecting that throw to come, so they're not going to be countering anything. They're probably going to try and jab or uh, slow escape or even low counter just to avoid it. Noctengu has plenty of experience going up against Alphas. I mean, Excalibur Blades is an Alpha player. Maleficent, who uh, placed really well at Summer Jam as a uh, Alpha player. Right now, though, we have uh, two rounds apiece. This is going to hurt quite a bit. Oh, drops it. It's probably mainly in part to the, uh, the small hill right there, thanks to the steps. Not as much damage as a counter, but it still hurts. And this could easily go in uh, Hollow's favor, and it does. So now they're tied one apiece. Five more matches to go for Hollow. Oh no, what is this? What is this? Oh, the fake out. We got swerved. Thought he was going to pick another co another character. So here we are, let's watch uh, the stage get destroyed. There we 
go. And that's a little juggle right there. Ooh, that damage was beautiful. Look at that. And the momentum is once again shifted in Hollow's favor. Just like it did in his match against... <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. A cough. Against Lord Xavier. Thank you, Blackstar, for the follow. You are awesome. Keep the cat. The Bandicoot dancing. Goes in with the offensive hold again. Now, not a place where you want to be force tech. Poor Alpha doesn't have any tool to help her out for the wake up. Leaves her vulnerable to so many things. But I have to say right here though, this match and the last one right here, a complete change in Ichigo, in uh, Hollow Ichigo. Coming up on possibly winning a second match. Making him one match away from a reset. It could be very dangerous because he has a lot of momentum going on in his favor right now. So it could be very possible for him to win the whole thing. Oh, this is going to hurt a lot. This could easily give him the round if he does it right. Oh, gets poked. So now we're at two to one and in danger of a reset right here in Hollow's favor. Xavier be hating on me. I'm getting follows. Thank you for the follows. You people are beautiful. Thank you. So we're uh, changing costume. I have to say, I like that costume a lot. I love the Mandarin dress. Nice hold right there. Apollo's doing a great job of getting himself out of the wall. Not a place where he wants to be. Apollo is doing just a much better job of going in and poking, not Kingu. Just trying to open him up to that offense and bevy of uh, assaults that he can just lay waste with the alpha. Oh dear. Okay, that that okay, that works. Doesn't get hit out of the air, but teleports and does a flip for the win. Right now, we're on match point right here for a reset. Right, this could hurt if he uh, does it right. Drops the combo, but still does a damn good amount of damage. Woo, just like that. After losing the first match, comes back three straight for a reset. So here we go. Part two of the grand finals, everybody. This is some awesome shit right here. <sighs> I 
And now we're going with the, uh, the Naughty Maid outfit. There we go, gets the, uh, relaunch off of Furniture Break. Hollow doing a great job of being on top of, uh, Tengu offensively. Going low, gets turned around, gets launched, flip kicked and uh, slammed to the wall. Oh, he manages to get out of the wall situation and turn it around on uh, Noctingu. Nice little launch right there off the furniture break, that's going to seal it. Two rounds to none right now in this reset. Drops the combo. <laughs> Sometimes uh, Alpha's physics just don't work right when it comes to juggles. I don't know why that is. Because Noctengu should have easily have had that uh, carry juggle and ended with a throw. Tengu now working real hard just to stay on top of Hollow to keep him from mounting an offense, but he's not doing, he's not able to stop him. He's just coming in with some real good pokes. There we go. Ah, oh, he doesn't manage to land the hit and throw, but he still wins the round. Now it's tied up 2-2 uh, two, two apiece. Sends him to the wall, trying to see if he can do some wall pressure. He teleports out of the way. That was a good chunk of damage. Tengu now at half-life, or under half-life. Teleports away again. He's doing a real good job doing, with those reads. Nice air grab right there. And he seals her. He is up one nothing now. In Grand Finals. So here we go. Green Jello wearing this goofy looking outfit. And uh, Lord Xavier, or sorry, not Kingu, keeping with the uh, Naughty Maid outfit. I'm only saying Xavier because I'm reading your text in the uh, chat room, you salty motherfucker. Tengu working real hard to stay on top of the uh, hollow, which is keeping from mounting an offense because, like, just like that, he's dead. He can easily be a, be a game changer. All it takes is just one hit that he has to get in off of a jab or whatever, or a kick like that. Bam. That was crazy. Thank you, Uptown Skula. Woo! See, just like that, Hollow just uh, mounting an offense. Got an offensive going for him. Light Sonic doing everything he can. Oh, doesn't get the last hit. Should have gone for the throw. Would have been. More, it would have been more uh, effective. There we go. Bam. Tries to go for the uh, sidestep kick. Doesn't work. Now he's gonna eat it. Oh, no he doesn't. Now he's on the board. One round uh, to two. Oh, double kick flip. Uh, got him against the wall. Gets him with the throw. Oh, 
Okay, this could be round right here. Gets them with the air grab. Yes, he does. Oh, nice counter. So after what looked like a slow start, Noctingu is uh, now catching on to Hollow's uh, game. It looks like Hollow is like, you know, I'm going to stay relentless on top of you. Another good hold right there by Light Sonic. Ooh, tried to go for the throw. He got caught. Misses the final hit, which would have won him the match. And gets it with the wake-up kick. Ooh, very good. Now up to nothing. He is on match point for the whole tournament. Yes, I do. I do end up keep... I don't know why. You can sue me all you want. Keep mess messing up your guys' names. So here we go. Hollow just going the to town already at the very beginning of this match. Might as well just give this round to him. Of course, Noctingu won't give up. Good little teleport right there, though, seals the deal. Hollow just trying to stay alive. Only has to win three straight to win this tournament. Noctingu on match point. I would say this open arena, though, is uh, doing him a lot of favors. Just like that, up two rounds and nothing. Nice throw. Woo, nice. That should kill him. Oh, no, it doesn't. But again, he's just taking advantage of the uh, lack of wake-up options for Tengu. I mean, for... Uh, Alpha, and this is gonna hurt so much. Oh, offensive hold on the charging Noctingu. And he could easily get a point right here on the board. And he gets jabbed out of his assault right there. Just like that, now it is 2 1, but still in Noctingu's favor, who is at match point, or tournament point. And hello, Master. Thank you for joining us. We are in Grand Finals. And we had a reset. Currently, though, Noctingu is in the lead, 2-1. to one. So we are back on this stage, which worked out very well for Hollowich. Hollowichigo. Because he has so much more open space and doesn't have to worry so much about walls and whatnot. Comes back with that offensive hold again. Just like that. Could very easily be tied 2-2 here in Grand Finals in just a matter of uh, a minute. Noctengu needs to find his offense because right now he has no what means to uh, corner Hollow to keep him from mounting an offense. There you go. It's the air grab over half life gone. There we go. Goes in for the grab on the wake up, but drops it. Tries to go for the grab again. That's gonna hurt. Doesn't break the barrier, but they decide to defy physics and walk right through it. And these pillars are just making a mockery of the game. Goes in with the flying throw. Love it. Love the choice. Oh, 
Oh. And here we go. He just has to breathe on uh, Noctingu. Oh. And we're going to, to the final match of the night. We are now tied two games apiece. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This one's for all the marbles. Noctingu probably has a, a little bit of Lord Xavier in him. He's picking his costume that he thinks is going to help him win the whole thing. Goes to the, the Naughty Maid outfit. So here we go. A bit of a smaller arena. No leveled, uh, unleveled uh, floors. So this might work out a little bit better for uh, Noctingu. Starts off with a really nice offensive hold. Woo! Nice little mix-up game. Oh, that's going to hurt. It's going to even the life total out, I believe. Yep, Noctingu still with just a little bit of life. Gets flip kicked out of what would have been an awesome offensive uh, assault. Does another flip kick. Says, stay out of my face, son. Hollowich about to possibly do the impossible. I haven't seen anyone uh, in my tournaments come back from a reset. You know what? No, I could be wrong. I think that might have happened a couple weeks, uh, about, uh, a couple months ago when I restarted this tournament. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, gets low punished. It was a good idea, though. I mean, trying to keep uh, Hollowich in the corner. Oh, hits the attack, and we're going to probably kill Light Sonic here. He is now on match point right here. Oh my god, that is how you start the match. Bam. Hollow it she goes. Alpha has been really superb. Light Sonic has to work really hard. He is down two rounds. This could probably help out even the deficit. Oh, he gets punished again. Trying to catch him off guard. Didn't work. And that'll do it. Gets him on the board. Keeps him alive. Woo, nice little juggle right there. Ends it with the grab. Yes, he is now at half-life, or almost. There we go. There's that wake-up pressure. Poor Alpha has nothing except teleports to get out of there. Guess is wrong. He's punished. Down to the last round. This shit is hype. Oh, we got a burst already. Third of his life gone. Gets low punished. Goes in with the offensive hold. This is going to take him down to a sliver of his health. He's just got to breathe on him. Are we going to get a great? What just happened? And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Haluichigo is our winner for this week's Free Step Dodge bi-weekly. Congratulations, sir. That was... An amazing tournament, everybody. Thank you so much for uh, participating. Uh, let's get a look at them standings. Ooh, excuse me, just a little belch there. So here we go. Here are the standings, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for everyone who participated. This has been a great uh, tournament. A lot of amazing matches. And uh, I think I will be hosting Destruction Bomb, uh, who will be streaming right after this. So uh, feel free to stick around and watch him if he is uh, going live. Uh, real quick, just to give you guys a heads up of uh, what's coming up on GV on the 
on my channel. Uh, this Wednesday, I am continuing Zelda Clone Month on Game Jam. I will be playing uh, Alundra on the PlayStation. Uh, that will be going down this Wednesday, 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. This Thursday, we are returning uh, with a new episode of Three Vets and a Noob, Fantasy Star Online, Blue Burst Adventures. That's also going to start at 9 p.m. Eastern. And then loop around back to next Monday uh, with uh, my other bi-weekly show, GVN Live. We're going to be doing something completely different. We are going to be interviewing Rich, who runs Gaming for Honor. And then we're going to be streaming some Mario Kart with the uh, staff of GVN Live competing in a friendly, uh, in a few friendly races. So uh, that's definitely something to keep track of. The next Dead or Alive Free Step Dodge or a free, yeah, Free Step Dodge biweekly will be on September 25th. I will hopefully have the sign-up sheets for that up by this Wednesday uh, on Challenge. So please keep an eye out on FreeStepDodge.com and over on the competitive Dead or Alive site uh, Facebook page. And with that, I want to thank everyone. Oh, please, don't don't be hating, uh, Lord Xavier. Don't be hating. You know, you never know. Some people here might actually be might enjoy watching uh, some Fantasy Star Online or some uh, Zelda clones. But anyway, yes, thank you guys so much for uh, watching me. Thank you, and uh, well, man, I'm just saying thank you so much. I mean, I I'm just very grateful for everybody that part participates in this tournament and uh, just sits at home and watches these tournaments. So thank you so much for making this a, a fun event for me. And in two weeks' time, we'll have another one. So once again, have a good night. Peace.